G'day guys. We've got something that's pretty notorious here today, and that is menu for the cheese and veggie omelette. US MRE. Now this is widely regarded as one of the worst MRE menus in existence. So uh, I sort of approach this a bit nervously. Uh, this was very kindly sent in by uh, Mike from the US, or Sergeant Potshot. And uh, he did ask if I'd be daring enough to try it, and I certainly was. And the exterior bag's open, he did warn me of that. But inside we have the double bag de Miracle style, which is good, I think they should all be. This particular one is from 2008. 237th day for the the actual entree. Let's crack in and have a look. Got some pictures of Sergeant Potshot and uh, his actual hometown, which looks very cold at this particular moment. So here we go. All looks rather normal from the outside. Hot beverage bag. Flameless ration heater. Now, it'll be interesting to see just how this performs after seven years. They usually do lose quite a bit of their performance after about three years. But after five, they're typically right write-offs. Now French vanilla, French, French vanilla cappuccino instant powder. Nice. Apple butter. Wow. That's interesting, I've never seen apple butter before in any of these uh, MREs. Salsa Verde. Little crackers, these are still sealed quite well, so we shouldn't have too much of a problem with those. Spiced cider in the accessory pack, that's cool. Let's take a quick peek in there. Toilet paper, salt, very matches, moist toilet, chocolate scum, these seem better days, and our spice cider, that's going to be quite nice, I think. Dehydrated granola with milk and blueberries. Okay, let's get this breakfast dish. And a cinnamon scone. And here we go, our egg omelette with vegetables and cheese. <laughs> Spoon. Alright, well let's get this um, FRH underway, we'll see if we can spark it into life. And first things first, we'll just whip this out of the box. Okay, rather squishy feeling. But, uh, that doesn't really tell us much. <laughs> right, top off the FRH. the omelette down there you go as far as the entrees go this one's yeah it's 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 kind of solidish so it makes it a little bit awkward put it into the far edge pick everything up the bottom there water. That's enough for us. Slide it down. Not open the top and because the pads are at the bottom you just lay it flat for a bit. You can already hear some action. Back in the box. I'm not going to uh, chuck anything else in there. I don't think actually there's really anything 
ripe for putting in. And prop it up on the good old for 15 minutes and we'll see what we get. Okay, first up I'm just going to mix up the spiced cider and a quarter of a canteen cup or six ounces of water this asks for. There we go, just like sand from the beach. Mm, that was a smell, it smells like a um, cinnamon muffin. Let's pop in. Not too much, it'll do. Just, uh, I think it's interesting that they don't include a coffee. This is clearly a uh, breakfast uh, breakfast menu. So it's slightly odd, but uh, not too bad. It's about French vanilla cappuccino instant powder. And one of the mix and drink from the pouch jobbies. So for hot or cold cappuccino, add hot water. Alright, that's interesting. I would have just gone ahead and chucked in uh, cold. But let's play by the rules. I guess we're just going to have to wait for that to cool down. I'm more of a little cold, not really a huge sort of hot drink kind of guy. I really prefer cold, but I guess as this is a cappuccino, makes a lot of sense really, doesn't it? <laughs> and due to the age of this one, I won't be uh, won't be sharing this with the boss, unfortunately. So apologies for that. It's just one of those things. Just like the vintage rations, it's just uh, it's not worth the risk. We'll mix up our dehydrated granola now. Milk and blueberries. So in here. Uh, what do we need? Two to four ounces of water. There it is. Get rid of that oxygen absorber. And this has, has the milk included. It smells quite nice. It smells like a like a milkshake, basically vanilla milkshake. I think that ought to do us. Stir, that will just fold over and give it a bit of a shake. And a good shaking. There we go, see those blueberries? And we'll pop in. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, we're pushing the envelope there. It's not really the colour I was expecting, but of course there is blueberries in there and may have put slightly too much water, but you know how it goes. And of course for our cutlery today, we'll be using the Bundeswehr shoe, or Bundeshear, I have to get Phil to uh, correct me on that. Cutlery Right, let's get out our cinnamon scone, 210 calories. Oops. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, hello, don't want you. 
and uh, yeah, interesting looking scone, I suppose. Um, smelling a little bit, a little bit past it. Yeah, just some sort of notes of. This is the smell you get with these kind of broody products from MREs when they're getting a bit long in the tooth. Apple butter. This feels extremely runny. Um, it's going to be interesting. Actually, we'll hold off on that for the moment. We'll deal with the crackers first, because we might need them. Okay, like said, the vacuum seal looks pretty good, so we might be able to get a hiss out of here. If we can persuade it to open. Yeah, little one. Okay, not bad for seven years, eh? Still intact. Yeah, it's starting to get that that funny uh, cracker smell to them. It's it's just the beginnings of the uh, extreme cracker smell, as I'll call it. Um, if you see my vintage reviews, yeah, the, those crackers when when they go bad, boy, do they go bad. Okay, I think. 31 years, may have just been a bit too long. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, one more. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm not being funny. Oh, there's a uh, there's something seriously wrong with <laughs> these puppies. <laughs> They're still, oops, okay, they were still in one piece. But the smell coming off them, ah, uh, <coughs> it's quite permeating. Um, <laughs> okay. Butter. Mm. I don't know what apple butter is supposed to look like, but that smells it smells sort of apple cinnamony. Not the doesn't smell horrible or anything. And salsa verde. This feels very runny, also. So I think. Oops. It's probably going to be meant for, of course, the omelette. I do want to see what it looks like in isolation. You find, as these things get older, the packaging kind of delaminates. Makes it a little bit awkward. Ooh, yikes. Hmm. Okay, it smells spicious. It's uh, it's not the uh, most appealing colour though, I have to say. Magic. And surprisingly, this FRH feels as if it's done. Oh, gee, it sure has. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Um, wow, that, that's as hot as these things get. Well, the US ones anyway. Very impressive. After all that time, but much in the same way as it was hard to get in, it's a little bit tricky to get out as well. Quick wipe down. Yeah, it's hot. Pretty much all the way through. Set that down just for a second. And without further ado, let's get this puppy out. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I've got to say that that does not smell terribly appealing. And uh, the looks 
Ugh. Boy. Uh. <laughs> wow. Um, who thought of that? Anyway, so we'll just ignore the elephant in the room for a minute and we'll whip around and try the rest of this stuff. So this is our French vanilla cappuccino powder. Yeah, really tasty. I love all of the dairy type products out of these MREs. Um, of course, some of you may 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 know about it. Uh, there was a bit of a recall uh, for the dairy shake powders. I don't believe it covers you know, instant cappuccino powder. I could be wrong, but um, yeah, there was a bit of an issue with them, and I think it's within this period as well. Into the spice cider. Smells nice. Yeah, it tastes good too. Just just like a sort of a fragrant apple juice, really. And I'm surprised at MREs that they don't include more drinks that are similar to that because that tastes to me, you know, not not too far away from actual real juice. But you end up with the carb electrolyte beverage powders that are uh, you know just absolutely insane colours and weird flavours. It would be nice to have something that's more closer to real juice. Okay. Crackers. Still nice and crunchy. They look okay. Like I say, the smell's just going a bit weird. They taste okay though. Let's have a little level of that salsa verde. Mm, yeah, nice, nice kick to it. It is more or less just like Tabasco sauce, I think. Look at the apple butter. Tastes very nice, just like a sonic cinnamon apple jam. I don't know if I call it butter; it'd be more a more a jam in my books. But it tastes pretty good. Doesn't look the best. Cinnamon scone. Now, this is one that was also suffering from a bit of the MRE whiff, but inside, have little bits and pieces. What do we have in here, actually? Hmm. Nothing. I thought they, um, I thought those little bobs in there may have actually been some kind of fruit, but I think that is uh, cinnamon. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's gone burgers. That one. Um, just usually what you find with these things is you'll have some, and it's the aftertaste that gets you. So it's like, oh, not too bad, and then, you know, bam. Here we go, the blueberry granola. And that actually tastes pretty good. It's not terribly sweet. It could actually use a bit of sugar, I think. Um, but it's, that's fed okay. Oh, no. Here we are. All right. The egg omelet consistency is like yeah, you know, like scrambled eggs, I suppose. There are some vague remnants of veggies in here. It is supposed to be a veggie omelet, after all. Um, there we go. Oh, why? <laughs> why? 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 What to say? Having never had one, um, it sort of puts me into a bit of a, a bit of a quandary, I suppose you'd call it. As in, it does appear to be it tastes like there's something incredibly wrong with it. However, you know these have had a reputation since the beginning of being pretty bad. So I mean, it could just be tasting normal, if you know what I mean. Let's just hit it with the salsa verde a bit. And a wee bit of salt. Let's see if we can salvage it. Mm. 
It tastes much, much, much better. Uh, and I think it's mainly just because the salt and the salsa verde completely masks. Oh, actually, it doesn't completely. <laughs> the taste of the egg. So I, I think this is possibly a good example of, I don't know, the scientists or the food technologists <laughs> trying too hard, just thinking, people need something for breakfast. What's, you know, what's a breakfast thing? Oh, eggs. You know, let's let's make it happen. You know, screw everything else in terms of uh, you know what does it actually taste like in the end result. You know, we've invested too much money trying to make this uh, this egg dish uh, last how long we need it to, and and all the rest of that jazz. So yeah, I can see why it is notorious. Um, I don't want to be a snob about it. If you were hungry. You know, you would eat this, uh, especially with the seasonings. But that really goes without saying. If you're hungry, you would eat, eat anything. It's not my cup of tea. You can see why it has the reputation. Um, glad to have sort of conquered it. Well, conquered a little bit of it anyway. And, um, you know, now I know what has potentially been the worst MRE. So thank you very much, Sergeant Potshot, for sending this in. It's, uh, it's been an experience. Certainly not one I'll be rushing out to try again. But, yeah. If you guys get a chance to, uh, to sample this, even if it's just to find out what I'm talking about, then um, yeah, go on, give it a try. It's, uh, it certainly is an experience. But, um, yeah, some of the stuff I'll be finishing off. I don't think I'll finish. I don't think I'll manage to finish that off. But um, the granola, great, the crackers and the spreads, all good, and the drinks are very tasty too. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, no boss on today's one, uh, we'll see you on the next. Keep an eye out for the upcoming giveaway for the NZR ORPs, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.